What's it called when you set a goal and then your kids hold you accountable to that goal? I don't know what this phenomenon is. There's this thing that happens where like you set a goal, like, okay, my goal was I'm going to start waking up at like nine o'clock, which would wake me up like about an hour before the kids do. Um, and my idea behind this was that if I woke up an hour earlier, then I could make sure that like I got dressed or um, like I could do devotionals in the morning and stuff like that. So that was my thought process. Why did my kids wake up at nine this morning? Like literally nine on the dot they woke up. And I was like, does this make you guys my accountability partner or like what's happening here? So even though I didn't technically do the thing that I wanted to do, I just thought it was really funny that like the day that I decide, okay, I'm gonna wake up earlier, y'all wake up early too. It's got to be some kind of like mom phenomenon because I feel like this happens with like everything that I try to do as a mom where it's like y'all real life woke up at the exact time that I said I was going to wake up. So now we're up. Here's the thing, I don't have it all together. And so something that I have been really intentional about is just trying to keep up with all the like day-to-day, -day, and I don't, I don't wanna call it day-to-day, -day, but just like the, the homemaking tasks that need to be done consistently. Things like cooking, cleaning, stuff like that. So I am working on, I, first off, I'm very type A. So I love my list, I love checklists, I love all this kind of stuff. So I'm actually working on putting together a little command center for myself, just so that I can like have one place where everything is. So it's gonna be like our master calendar. Even though I have it like digitally, it's just so much easier for me to do things without my phone. Because I think when I'm on my phone, it's so easy for me to feel like I got something done when really I didn't like really I might have just made a list or I mean and a making a list is a good thing but it's like I'll make the list and then I'll go get sidetracked on Instagram or something like that so it's good for me to be able to like have stuff written down that way I can just like sit down and really get things done that I want to get done so I've been creating a bit of a list for my groceries so I have a to-do list for groceries I like having a list that's written um I love my little clipboard <laughs> Missy feels so managerial, but um, no, I um, I will walk around like different parts of the house, um, mostly the kitchen, because that's like where we have to do the most restocking. Um, so I'll walk around and I will just write down the things that I see that we need to like keep it from us having a moment where we run out. Because the common problem that we've been having for like the last two years is that we'll run out of something. So then we have to like make a random Instacart order um, and then like we end up buying a bunch of stuff that we don't actually need or want. And oh, just reminded me of something. So we end up buying a bunch of random stuff. As I'm talking, I'm like thinking of things. But anyway, we end up buying a bunch of random stuff and it just like, it makes it to where we're like creating all these little tiny shopping trips that end up being, you know, $50 here, $40 there, $100 here. And like, in theory, it doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're doing this every single day because you forgot something, like it just, it ends up being like very um, unproductive, but also costing a lot more money than if we could just sit down, obviously and just do one list. So this has been really good because I have been doing a better job at like managing like okay this is the money that we're gonna spend on groceries that's it so i really i mean it's so funny like as a kid i remember my mom doing stuff like this and i remember her like having us participate in this and then you know like you just get grown <laughs> you get grown and you want to do your own thing and it's like oh i have money i can just buy whatever i want and it's like oh this is why they 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 budgeted this is why like my mom would write a grocery list is because like you could real life spend a bunch of money and look in the fridge and still have no food like that's what we, we would run into that all the time where it's like we bought all this food we spent so much money but like nothing goes together because there are no meals so it's like come on guys let's think so um my first thing that i like to do is just go and make like a pass through and just to see like okay what things do we need to stock up on do we need toilet paper do we need laundry detergent like do we need um dishwasher pods like 
and then I go through the cabinets and I'm like, okay, what food do we need? And then um, I'm getting ready to sit down and do our meal plan for the week. I was trying to do this on Sundays, but I realized that it doesn't really help me to do things on Sundays when Sunday is my work day. So I've switched this to a Monday activity, which is actually good because I love Mondays, but I also like to have like a slow start into Monday. So I feel like using Monday as the day to prep for my upcoming week is actually a lot better than using Sunday. I know a lot of people use Sunday, but for me, it just... It doesn't really work for me to use Sundays because Sunday is when I'm closing my week. So the next thing I'll do is I will sit down and I will map out what our meal plan is. I do it on the same list as my grocery list because I figure if I put it on the grocery list, then I will be able to clearly see like what we're eating and to make sure that we have all the ingredients for it. So I do like writing it out here on the grocery list. Our breakfast tends to be the exact same thing. Um, we are an allergy home. And so uh, like everybody here has some sort of allergy. So a lot of times we eat the same things over and over again, but honestly, we don't get tired of it. Like it's our favorite foods. So it's like, I mean, we don't really get tired of it, but I do like to go on Pinterest just to like look for some fun things to add into our meal rotation. I'm getting ready to actually make, not a cookbook for us, but like a, I wanna get like one of those little cute um, recipe card holders or something to put all of our like favorite foods, favorite recipes in there. Just so that like at any given time, you know, if we, for whatever reason, are not thinning out our meals, we can just kind of pull from this menu of things that we know we like. One of our like staples is a, a like hash brown casserole that we make with tater tots, which is really good. And th there are just some other things that like we just always eat that are like quick cool meals, things that like the kids really enjoy me and Tay enjoy it. So it, it makes it like an overall enjoyable experience. We can cook a lot of these things together. So this ends up being like our final meal plan for the week. And then I put this into my phone. I put the meal plan into my phone. That just allows me to, you know, at any given time, be able to see what we're eating. What I'm gonna do actually, when I put the command center together is that I'm gonna put the meals on the wall so that everybody knows what's for dinner. And so if by, if for whatever reason, like on Tuesdays and some Thursdays, sometimes I have to work. And so because of that, then Tay will be able to clearly see like, okay, this is the food that was taken out, you know, make this. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, I usually do one of our either repeat meals or something that I know Tay enjoys cooking. So that if for whatever reason, I am not able to cook, then he does it. The cool thing is that Tay actually loves to cook, but he likes cooking more than I do. So it's actually a lot easier for me to choose meals that I know he will enjoy cooking cooking even if it's like you know hey we're having chicken and then he can do his little flair his little spice like that's cool he really enjoys cooking so i try to like tailor the meal plan according to what the kids like to eat so it's like based first on what the kids like to eat and then second on what i know tay will enjoy cooking and then we kind of just play around with it from there on the days that i know for a fact like oh, okay i'm gonna be cooking then those are the days that i you know will experiment on meals or something like that although tay does love experimenting so i try to like give it enough room for him to experiment but he's not going to be like on pinterest looking for a meal or like looking for you know a recipe or whatever so that's kind of how i do my meal plan and it's been fun it's been really fun to like play with meal planning this way yep you were quiet you did a great job what are we eating this week guys pie pie okay do you want hot dogs this week give me my pen do you want hot dogs this week so I can write it down. You want hot dogs? Uh huh. All right. So we got hot dogs. So what? You gonna cook them? Let's cook the cookies. Okay. Is Wednesday a good day for that, or should I put it on another day? Well, what we'll do is I'll make. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. Okay. So we'll leave the hamburgers on Wednesday. So eat them tomorrow. Okay. What you trying to do, baby? All right. Okay. I'm still over here. Okay.